People like to point out that Batman doesn't have any superpowers. Wait, you're not just some guy in a bat costume, are you? But that's not entirely true. His superpower is endless wealth that lets him buy lesser superpowers in the form of gadgets. In 70 plus years of stories, some of those gadgets have gotten uh, pretty stupid. Here are the seven dumbest Batman gadgets. The most notable of Batman 66's deliberately goofy gadgets was the Bat Shark Repellent, and the Planetary Batman crossover made a direct reference to that with the Bat Female Villain Repellent. There's really no reason this shouldn't just be a can of pepper spray, but maybe old Bruce can blame female repellent residue for not being able to hold down a relationship. For a brief period of time, Batman had his own life-saving robot who would swoop in to save him at opportune moments, and sometimes less opportune moments. Eventually, Batman realized this robot to be the annoying contrivance that his readers already knew it was, so he faked his death in order to get the robot to self-destruct over its failure. Batman may not kill, but he's not above guilting a robot into suicide. Like a lizard shedding its own tail for survival, Batman once had spring-loaded bat ears for getting out of sticky situations. Except that a lizard losing its tail is an actual survival tactic, and dart ears are something a paranoid billionaire builds into a suit when he's running out of ideas for how to spend money. Speaking of money, Batman once bet Alfred a dollar that he couldn't find Batman's weakness, so Alfred staged a recreation of Thomas and Martha Wayne's murder. After Alfred succeeds in psychologically breaking the poor guy, Batman does something even more screwed up, revealing that a pouch of his utility belt contains a single dollar. Probably for those late night slim gyms after crime fighting. The Batmobile, the Batplane, the Bat Boat, the Bat Cycle, the Bat Glider. What do you get for the guy who has every Bat vehicle? Why, Bat Jet Roller Skates, of course. For when you need to be unstylish, unsafe, super top heavy, and way too fast all at the same time. Batman doesn't tote around computer files on a USB drive like some kind of normo. He's Batman! That's why he's got bat USB drives. No, this is not a special device, it's just a regular thumb drive. Imagine how sore Alfred feels spending a dozen hours a week gluing bat logos on generic electronics purchased from a Best Buy. And finally, sometimes a cool gadget can completely be undone in the marketing, so it's no wonder that Batman never saw great success with the Bat Poon. No, it's not a portable fleshlight for the Cape Crusader, it's a horrendously named harpoon. Superman fears it, Robin loves it, but sooner or later, everybody gets a piece of that poon.